produce one of these units and the firm is generating five dollars of profit each time it sells i'm sorry five dollars of revenue therefore there's a net per unit profit of this vertical distance between the demand curve and the average total cost curve so on a per unit basis in this situation this firm is earning two dollars of economic profit now because it's selling ten units that's the marginal revenue equals marginal cost profit maximizing output the firm is actually incurring three times ten which is thirty dollars of total cost and five times ten which is fifty dollars of total revenue leaving this rectangle as two times ten or twenty dollars of total product now this is a short run equilibrium and this is unsustainable because there is ease of entry into this industry what is going to happen well if we go back over here to the industry picture there are going to be entrepreneurs out there who are interested in entering this particular market because this is a market in which the firms are earning an economic profit so what is going to happen as entrepreneurs enter this marketplace that's going to actually increase the supply of this particular product relative to demand in the industry so that means that the market supply curve is going to shift from supply one to supply two now there is a new equilibrium in the industry and this equilibrium is going to produce price two which is a lower price than the former equilibrium produced price at price one. So what does that mean? Well, because the firms that make up the industry are price takers, the firms are going to take this new price, which is price two, and let's call it three dollars. So the firms take the new price associated with the new equilibrium point, and instead of having this original demand curve, at five dollars that demand curve goes I'll try to clean this up and what happens is the new demand curve um, essentially looks like this so now the point at which this demand curve the marginal revenue curve and the marginal cost curve intersect is right here so this would be the MR equals MC equilibrium quantity for the firm if I had drawn this a little better we would see that this is also the minimum point of the average total cost curve and what happens here well if the firm is selling say seven units as its equilibrium or profit maximizing level of output at three dollars that its total revenue would be $21. Now, how much is it costing the firm on a per unit basis? Well, because we have a triple equality here, where price is equal to the marginal cost, which is equal to the minimum average total cost. Uh, again, if I had drawn this a bit more clearly, we would see that at this price level, at this quantity, the average or per unit cost to produce seven units is actually equal to the price, that's $3. And so the per unit revenue of $3 is exactly equal to the per unit cost of $3. And therefore, this firm is not earning an economic profit anymore. It is only earning what is called a normal profit in economics. Now, this is the final lesson that must be emphasized with the perfectly competitive firm in the long run. The previous picture over here that showed the perfectly competitive firm at a price level of five dollars earning a profit was a short run situation that was unsustainable as soon as new firms entered the industry shifting out the industry supply curve and reducing the equilibrium price this firm took that equilibrium price and we have entered the microeconomic long run and what's left is a firm that's actually producing fewer units of output and is no longer earning an economic profit and because there are neither economic profits nor losses that the firms are incurring there's no pressure in the industry for either entry or exit so this industry and this firm would be said to be uh, at rest